Brinek and Kim, a Belgian couple who traveled the world for a year and a half before buying and converting this Ford Transit van into the tiny house on wheels that we now travel Europe in. After an incredible first month of winter van life way up in the Swedish Arctic Circle, we made our way to a country that has been really high on our bucket list for a while now, Switzerland. For our start to van life Switzerland, today we are going to drive into the Swiss Alps where we will be exploring part of the Jungfrau region, renowned for having many of Switzerland's biggest highlights and celebrating a special occasion. Good morning guys and welcome to Switzerland! Switzerland. Good morning, it's about 8 a.m. now, driving here in Switzerland and we have a little special something planned for today. Because today is a very special date. Today is Lenny's birthday. Yay! Today, happy birthday to, to me. you! Happy birthday to, to you! Me. Happy birthday dear to me! Happy birthday to you! Hey. Actually, I already sang for him this morning. Just gonna keep this short, don't wanna hurt your ears. Yesterday, we drove all the way from Poland across the Swiss border, and today we're gonna drive into the Alps. We're going to Grindelwald today, which is supposed to be a really, really quaint and super picturesque village in the heart of the Swiss Alps. And you can already see the Alps here, right here from the highway. We're still a few hours out from Grindelwald, but we're getting closer to the Alps. And you can just see them over there in the back. With the sunrise, it looks amazing. Super, super excited for this. changed our route a little bit to take us off the highway and through more of the scenic slow windy road and oh my god like this is so amazing it is so beautiful here that our cabinets, especially our doors, don't really like the windy little road so much because one of them is opened in the back. I see, I could hear the plates rolling around and I was like, that's not a sound I usually hear. <laughs> so we made it to Hindelwald. We tried to park the car at this parking right here. We succeeded at parking it. We succeeded at parking it, but the meter will not take our money. Try one more time before we do that. This is pretty dramatic scenery though, to be uh, having these sorts of practical problems in. All right, made it. I installed the app, registered, that to make payments, authentications, everything. It worked. Uh, luckily there's some free Wi-Fi here now. Let's get up those mountains because I want to see myself some Alps. Maybe I'm taking one home. <laughs> Birthday present for myself. <laughs> Squeeze it into the van. So the plan for today is to head up to what is said to be the most beautiful viewpoint right here above the little ski resort town of Kindlewald. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Can I sit next to you? Well, of course I can. <laughs> no. Oh. It's so nice to be here. Somewhere new. Getting launched in three, Super. two, one. <laughs> Whoa. It's gonna take us about 25 minutes to get to the top of the mountain here. It's gonna take us more than 1,000 meters up in that uh, time frame. But wow, just look at this! <gasps> wow, somebody's uh... oh, someone's paragliding. I don't think you can see that on camera, but there's someone paragliding right over there. Yeah, you can actually see it. Wow, you can't actually. We cannot actually do it right now, paragliding, <laughs> because you can, you're not allowed to do tandem flights like with two people, and I can't paraglide myself. We sort of uh, need you can also do skydiving here, there's so many cool things you can do at the moment. Also not possible because you need two people because I can skydive by myself. COVID. I think I can, but I mean, some people disagree. <laughs> anyway, I mean, 
it's just morning now and it's already such a great day. I mean, this is gonna be an awesome birthday. A big thank you to Kim for playing all this. Woo -hoo. <laughs> no, let's see, let's see if it all works out. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? We're fine, folks. We're fine. That was just snow. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> so, what's the plan? There's a, somewhere a cliff walk, first cliff walk here. I don't know what it is exactly, but it sounds pretty cool, cliff walk. So we're gonna check it out. We're now at the top here at the first Grindelwald. And I mean... I absolutely loved the winter landscapes in, Sw in Sweden, but they were flat, like mostly flat. Lots of snow, lots of pine trees, frozen lakes and stuff. But what Sweden did not have is mountains. And it seems that the Swiss Alps have really good mountains so it's just super super cool loads of people skiing here now we're sort of regretting our decision to be budget conscious idiots and not ski <laughs> yeah, I mean, now that we're up it's here it's quite expensive here to do the skiing and i got some birthday money from family and friends so oh you're gonna treat me to stuff that's great <laughs> uh, i hear somebody coming here. <laughs> so right now we are on the first cliff walk by Tissot which sounds like a name for a fancy watch Tissot but in fact it's also like literally a walkway hanging from the edge of a cliff here at Grindelwald first station at a height of 2168 meters if I'm not mistaken the views are really really awesome it's not that great if you have a fear of heights but I mean it's pretty solid. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. The view is yeah. incredible. It's amazing. It's getting a little bit narrow here. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Will they make it? Will they die? Oh my god, look! The, over there, the, there's literally... Like, the cliff is hanging over the walkway. So you literally have to drop down. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, this is pretty narrow. <laughs> this is made for people like me. <laughs> Luckily, I lost some weight recently like 200 grams or something. I generally don't have a fear of heights, but... Yeah, it's... If we drop the camera now, it is a long way down. Oh, Schatzi, gucken Sie mal die Moorlandschaft Bachalbsee in die... Dinge. You know what I mean. Can you see it? These are not binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I think it's just to fix your gaze on something. Feeling ever so slightly cheated here. <gasps> wow. we have the look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> A suspension bridge. Oh, I love Switzerland. I love the Alps. That is slightly awkward because it almost feels like you're standing on ice, but it's glass, it's glass, I mean it's fine, people are just standing on top of it. Oh, this place is amazing. Ooh, a bar. Takeaway food. Ooh. Oh. After our walk on the cliff, it was time for a well-deserved coffee break before starting our first hike in the Swiss Alps, surrounded by spectacular scenery. We started our descent from the top of Gindelwald first, down its snow-clad slopes back to the cable car. Having a really nice walk here. It's going downhill about 800 meters, which is always really nice. So we took the chairlift up to the highest point and now we're going down. Put some water in my fridge here. Sitting on my ice bench because, I mean, what else do you do in Switzerland? Switzerland life. This walk should take us about a good two hours without any stops. 
This, of course, is a stop, so we're already off track a little bit. But we think we should make it back down to Borst, which is one of the cable car stations on the way back down to Grindelwald by the time the last cable car gets there. We're hoping that we... But the scenery, I mean, is amazing. It's beautiful out here. And there's so much sun. That's what we're missing in Sweden. Sun, look. That yellow bowl in the sky. Sun. <laughs> So we've descended back into the tree line here and here it's a lot warmer than up there and the snow sort of turned into slush because most of the part that we walk on is actually a sledging route or a ski piece and this is really really a slushy bit so it gets sort of slippery. You said anything about not being able to ski? You can ski with just shoes on and that's the cheapy way of doing it. That down there is the Bort cable car station. And that right here is the final stretch down. Like that, 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 that. So much sun, I have to take off my coat. It is unbelievable, incroyable. incroyable. Take a run for it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> slippery bit, slippery bit. <laughs> Best day ever. It's such a good day that it feels like it's also my birthday. <laughs> That's not. Birthday boy falling behind. Oh. No. No, you don't do it. Oh. You need to cool down, down your butt. Getting too hot. Because I'm too hot, hot, hot. I'm not actually sitting on anything. I'm sitting on my heels now. Oh, I'm trying again. I can't get up! <laughs> oh, much better! Oh, I thought you fell backwards again. Oh, you probably did. Oh, what a view, what a day. <laughs> good start, good start to our time in the Swiss Alps. So, we're back in the van right now. And we're turning this van into a little sweatshop, I tell you. Into a little slightly crispy cook shop because we're making these barbecue we're making Maggie's birthday dinner <laughs> we've had a little bit of wine <laughs> we're not making a barbecue dinner we're not barbecuing inside the van we're just ventilating it a little bit towards the outside and using our rooftop fan because Maik is making things smoke it I'm cooking up a really big steak here it's about uh, almost a kilo of meat I mean, we're not gonna finish this Probably not gonna finish this, not that I promise anything. It's some uh, freshly made pepper sauce, some baked potatoes here. But this is why we have our roof fan. Ooh, no, the plate warmer. <laughs> By the way, in case anyone is wondering why we're using this instead of our normal stovetop. Gas that our stovetop runs on can be bought everywhere in Europe, except for Scandinavia, apparently. A good friend of mine would say, you don't make friends with salad, you don't make friends with salad. So, no salad. Anyway, got ourselves a really good steak here with some uh, homemade sauce, baked potatoes. Mm, looks good. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh my god! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Lake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> and there go our cardboard plates. It is to share. Oh wait. 
Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> chocolate icing, apricot jam, chocolate cake. This is a mattress cover. It goes like this. <laughs> it covers the mattress. <laughs> they, <laughs> they really do look like a human mattress. Okay, no, I'll just, I'll just go to sleep now. <laughs> Please do not mess with the human mattress. I'm not very careful. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good morning. It's a little bit dreary today, actually. You're not allowed to. And I can hear. I think you can probably hear it too the roar of the wild Swiss sparrow, aka chainsaw, <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> super tranquil out here, super peaceful. Anyway. Uh, yesterday we drove out of Grindelwald, uh, we're now at a parking spot near Interlaken and it's a little bit cloudy today, actually it's very cloudy, very nice because there are supposed to be several, I think 3000 meter plus peaks over here and a big one over there as well, but you can't currently see it due to the weather, uh, but you're not allowed to park inside of Grindelwald, which is why we drove here yesterday, uh, spent the night here at this beautiful viewpoint. It's not too cold outside, actually. No, it isn't. It's just cloudy, slightly dreary. Today is second birthday day. Is that a thing? Yeah, I think it is. Now it officially is. Birthday week. Plan for today is to go do some van lifey stuff. Yeah. Like some of the practical <coughs> stuff that we have to, to empty get our out toilet of the way. And empty our toilet. And get some water. Water, because we literally do not have any more water. I want yeah. to make some more coffee, but I literally cannot. Because we don't have any more water. This is literally all we have left. That's a couple of sips. It's not gonna last us very long. So we have to pull ourselves away from this little nice spot. Would have been nice to stick around here until we could like spot a break in the clouds and but duty calls. So it's, it's okay. Even have, some, <laughs> even have some uh, fresh water here that you can uh, get for free. Pretty nice. Although our tank is still a little bit frozen from our time in the Arctic. We've left the Arctic for more than two weeks now, I guess. And our tank is still not completely thawed because it was just a huge block of ice. Aha! Geöffnet! Not too shabby. Fresh alpine water. Wow. Our bowl is never gonna be cleaner. I'm going to go to Lille here because it's one of the cheapest supermarkets here in Switzerland as far as I know. Actually one of the cheapest ones in Europe. So if you come to expensive country, cheap supermarket is your friend. And it just so happens that we love this store because when we still were in Belgium before we started traveling, we always went to the little anyway because it was cheap and they have a lot of nice stuff. They even tell you, viel Spaß beim Spahn. Ah, oh, This meat, this steak looks so good. It's starting, starting to get mouth watering. But we're trying to cut on, on our meat consumption, so we're not gonna take it now. No, I don't wanna take it. No. <laughs> Ooh. 
Alrighty. Made it back, did some good shopping run. Got ourselves some food. First time in the Swiss supermarket. It's expensive. It is expensive. Even the little, which is supposed to be really cheap. We did not come to Switzerland thinking that was gonna be a nice budgety destination. No, no, Switzerland is mucho, mucho dinero, mucho. <laughs> That looks like a nice view to have in our office for the day. Yeah, it looks like a good view for the office indeed. So I'm gonna park it up right here. Stop, 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 yeah, stop. Office set up for the day. <laughs> we decided to not convert it into a table and office setup and just do it here. I mean, you can, I can edit here a little bit and look at this use, it's incredible. Just forget my phone in the front though. Could you grab it for me? Because I do not have super long arms, this is going to come in handy. Oh god, even, even so, it's not easy. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh no, no. I can't believe this. Turns out, the phone is too slippery. <gasps> ah, bingo. Oh, victory. Thank you, I think. <laughs> this is what 30 euros worth of groceries looks like in Switzerland. So excluding this bottle of wine, which we also bought, all we have is basically some apples, some tangerines, some vegetables, hummus, bread, a little bit of cheese, and that's 30 euros. Damn Switzerland, you expensive. Oh, oh no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot about the uh, ginger kurkuma shot. Would you like to try one? Don't forget about our offer from Audible where you can have unlimited audiobooks to listen to, which is really great. Get some time back when you are driving, cleaning, whatever. You can listen to some audiobooks, really nice. Click the link below to start your free trial. Just, just try it out at no cost to you. So I think it's really, really great. We shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.